As quickly serve the dragon, the, serp, the old serpent, uh, the devil and the Satan. Uh, in the Old Testament, how it has been, you know, working among people, especially the children of God, Old Testament people of God, the children of Israel. We are going to see the dragon, the believers, and what, how God is going to judge them, touch the dragon and how it is going to be condemned. Hallelujah! The final stage is like uh, a dragon, believers and God. Connectivity. So we are going to see from a uh, New Testament point of view how in the Old Testament when the people of God went away from God only the dragon was taking, you know, um, uh, you know, making that place as his home. But here in the New Testament uh, we we'll read from Revelation chapter 12, verses from uh, verse 3 onwards, we we'll read some few verses out of that. Revelation chapter 12, verse 3, first we we'll read. And another sign appeared in heaven. And another sign appeared in heaven. Behold, behold, a great, a great, fiery red dragon, fiery red dragon. Having seven heads, having seven heads, and ten horns, ten horns, and seven dia diadems, uh, yeah, seven diadems on his heads, on his heads. Hallelujah! Here, there's a picture that's been given uh, about the dragon. Another sign appeared in heaven. Behold, a great fury. Heaven means it's not you know there are three stages. The heaven that which, which we see, the sky, and then the second heaven where the, all the evil spirits, everything abode. And then the third heaven is God, where God sits, and even in that there is a lot of other segments are there. So, in the heaven, in the heavenly realm, we we'll read, no? In the, even Ephesians 6th uh, chapter, um, we read like how spirits of wickedness in the high places, the heavenly places. So these are this is the this is what is mentioned there. Here we read another sign appeared in heaven. Behold a great fiery red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven diadems on his heads. This old serpent we saw in twenty Revelation twenty two. Yeah. He laid hold of the dragon. He laid hold of the dragon. That serpent of old. That serpent of old. Who is the devil and yeah, Satan. That serpent of old. Who is the devil and Satan. Hallelujah. So the description for dragon is the serpent of old. Who is the devil and Satan. Power. Verse 4 it says, with his tail he drew a third of the stars of heaven and threw them to the earth. Hallelujah. The dragon just, you know, tried to disturb the stars of heaven and threw them to the earth. That means he, he shows what power he has and tries to, you know, exhibit his power. Oh, hallelujah. To put fear in the woman. Oh, hallelujah, glory to God. Before that, verse 12, uh, chapter 12, uh, Revelation chapter 12 and verse 1, it says, Now a great sign appeared in heaven. Now a great sign appeared in heaven. A woman clothed with the sun. A woman clothed with the sun. With the moon under her feet. With the moon under her feet. And on her head. And on her head. A garland of twelve stars. Yeah, a garland of twelve stars. Here we see, read about a woman clothed with sun. The moon under her feet. And on her head a garland of twelve stars. I'm going to show you about the dragon only. Okay? So this dragon was so much interested Hallelujah, it was standing before, Hallelujah, glory to God, the woman with the child, carry, having, you know, the verse 2 says that, Then being with child, she cried out in labor and in pain to give birth. And another sign appeared in heaven, behold a great fiery serpent, red dragon, it was there, and it was where was it? No, it was standing before, before the, the woman. Verse 4, the latter part of 4th verse. 
This dragon was standing before the woman who was ready to give birth to devour a child as soon as it was born. Hallelujah. It was standing before the woman ready to, she is ready to give birth. And it is the, the dragon is also waiting to devour the child as soon as it was born. Hallelujah. This is the warfare going on. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And then verse 5 says, she bore a male child. Hallelujah. She bore a male child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And her child was caught up to God and his throne. Why the serpent was so much interested about this male child? People, you know, Bible scholars say this male child is Jesus Christ. And it was, you know, wanting to be over Jesus Christ. Jesus was taken up, you know, after the resurrection, was taken up in the, uh, you know, taken up to God. But another uh, uh, meaning, I would say, by the grace of God, we can take it. She bore a male child who was to rule all nations with, because Jesus is going to rule all the nations with a rod of iron. That's true. And, hallelujah, glory to in the thousand years reign. And then, after the Antichrist period, seven years. So, her child was caught up to God and his throne. So, what, who is this male child? And who is this woman? This woman is the uh, present church day church of God. Hallelujah. The church of God is not all the churches, but ch church of God means all the saints of God. That means, uh, you know, she bore a male child who was to rule all nations with the rod of iron. In the thousand years reign, Jesus will rule all the nations with the rod of iron. Every, everything and everybody will be under the control and the lordship, kingship of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And also, uh, glory to God, this male child who was to rule all, this, all the nations with the rod of iron, we see. And uh, we see about uh, in one of the seven churches, there we read about the people, oh, people who overcome the church of theater. Please read Revelations. Let's go back to Revelations chapter 2 and verse 24. Please read. Now yeah. to you I say, now to you I say, and to the rest in theater, and to the rest in theater, as many as do not have this doctrine, as many as do not have this doctrine, who have not known the depths of Satan, or oh, who have not known the depths of Satan, as they say, as they say, I will put on you no other burden. I will put on you no other burden, but hold fast. Uh, but hold fast. What you have till I come. Yeah, hold fast what you have till I come. Here this church of Theatre, oh, they have to deal with a very severe uh, spirit called uh, the spirit of Jezebel. If you read in verse 20, this the church had to fight with the spirit of Jezebel and this church was rebuked for uh, tolerating the spirit of Jezebel. What did she do? What did see Jezebel means? It's not a woman. These are the spirits. They are warring against each and every child of God in every church. Against every church. So the spirit of Jezebel, what did she do? It was uh, uh, 20 latter part. No, she says, Hallelujah, glory to God. She herself a prophetess, calls herself a prophetess. To teach and seduce my servants to commit sexual immorality and eat things sacrificed to God, to idols. Eat things sacrificed to idols. I, I gave her time to repent of her sexual immorality and she did not repent. Indeed. And see, and because of this, the church was also rebuked. 20 verse, uh, chapter 20, the first part. Nevertheless, I have a few things against you. Because you allow the woman Jezebel. So the church is supposed to be very watchful and alert not to allow, not to tolerate any of these evil things. Now church is so much, you know, tolerance is there. And if you don't tolerate, then they'll say hedge pitch. 
if you speak against sin, if you speak against you know evil, then you they will say you are a hate preacher. Tolerance. They say, oh, you have to tolerate people. Yes, we tolerate people, but not the evil spirits. Hallelujah. We have to tolerate people with you know shortcomings. We have to tolerate people with uh, you know uh, weaknesses, infirmities, but not tolerate the spirit of Jezebel, which causes people to commit sexual immorality and you know uh, by causing them to eat, making them to eat things sacrificed to idols. There are so many such spirits. Even in the previous church, we see spirit of Balaam operating. So in those the people who were before. The same, same people's name is mentioned. Whatever is mentioned in the Old Testament here in the New Testament church we see. It's not the people, it is this evil spirit operating, which was operating in those people those days, now operating in the churches as spirit. Because church is full of spiritual church. Hallelujah. Church means it's spiritual. So spirits only will war against the church. Amen. Hallelujah. So this this the church, every church has to be watchful, alert and see that such spirits uh, do not dominate or rule or have any room, any place in the church. Hallelujah. Many church tolerate or you know they are very lenient about these spirits but they are very dangerous. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That is why this church was rebuked for this uh, sin of uh, Jezebel. And then when they dealt with it, and it's uh, verse 24 we read, Hallelujah, glory to God. Now to you I say, Now to you I say, And to the rest in theatre, yeah, Revelation 2, 24, And to the rest in theatre, As many as do not have this doctrine, As many as do not have this doctrine of Jezebel, Hallelujah, Sexual impurity, <laughs> immort immorality, as many as do not have this doctrine, because they have, they say, okay, that's why right. Jesus is loving God, compassionate God. He is loving God. He is compassionate God. Even when he saw the sinful woman, he says, neither do I going to, am I going to judge you, but go sin no more. Hallelujah. So that's what Jesus says. He wants everyone to come out because the sin is off the devil. That's why God also fights against sin. Hello, not against the sinner. He is for the sinner to pull him out of every kind of sin and make him into a just person. Amen. Hallelujah. So, hallelujah. When you or when we hallelujah, understand God's mind and cooperate with him, and such people are called the overcoming people, the overcomer, the victors. Hallelujah. And the Lord says, such people, those who do not have the you know this doctrine, and then who have not known the depths of Satan. We need not, we need not, many people are so curious about, you know, knowing Satan. We have to know God in detail. Hallelujah. The knowledge of God only makes us, hallelujah, gives us the divine nature of God. The knowledge of God only gives us eternal life. The knowledge of God only benefits us. Hallelujah. But the knowledge, we should not be ignorant of Satan's devices. Amen. We should not be blind about satanic kind of strategies. We should be, uh, you know, we should have a discernment. We should have the understanding how the enemy can deceive people, how he can attend, uh, attack people, how he can, you know, devour people. All this knowledge you should have, but not in depth. Hallelujah. Some people have the curiosity to know Satan and his works in detail. They go get caught into it. Hallelujah. Many people they do that. We should not, we should not, we need not know about Satan in detail. We need to know God in detail. Hallelujah. Verse 25. Uh, the Spirit of the Lord says, but to the church of Tiratiatala, but all fast what you have till I come. That's the very thing. Because the enemy is fighting against each and every one. He says, I will give you anything you want, but Give back, give out, give give that to me. What is that which is precious? God has given it to you. That is the eternal life, which He doesn't have. Hallelujah. That's why Apostle Paul tells you know we always used to see in First Timothy six twelve, fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life, lay hold on eternal life. Which you have been called, you every one of you 
God has called you to inherit the eternal life, to be with Him forever and ever. So if the Lord says, uh, Apostle Paul says, so you have to fight the good fight of faith, the enemy, the dragon, the devil, the serpent, wars against people, not for anything else, but for this eternal life, to snatch away the promised eternal life, the promised inheritance of God. Hallelujah! The inheritance of God promised to you that is the eternal life. Lay hold! and fight the good fight for that. You may even be ready and willing to lay down your life to, to earn, to inherit the eternal life. Hallelujah! That much you have to fight the good fight of faith. And he who overcomes and keeps my works until the end. This is where many people are. They faint in Christian death. Because they don't have the knowledge, they don't have the understanding, they don't have the te sound teachings, sound doctrines. People are, you know, fed with all junk foods. Oh God, you, God will bless you, brother. God will, you know, lift you up, brother. God will elevate you. God will promote you. God will, you know, bless you, shower you with riches. The Lord says, he who overcomes and keeps my words until the end, to him I will give power over the nations. Right? We saw that the male child. Right? For chapter 12. The male child was given power over all the nations. Here, to him who overcomes, I will give power over all over the nations. And he shall rule them, rule them with a rod of iron. Hallelujah. In Revelation chapter 12 and verse. Uh, four we saw that four, four or five that male child hallelujah, will rule them, all the nations and it will rule them with the rod of fire hallelujah instead interested about the male child who will rule all the nations with the rod of fire that means male child means strong people of God hallelujah people who always are overcomers Amen. People always overcome like the, the, the people of Tietara. He who overcomes, I will give him power over the nation. That means such people only, they are going to come back with Jesus in the thousand years reign. And they will also rule with Jesus. Hallelujah. And such people, oh people who are fed with sound doctrine, sound teachings, Oh, hallelujah. They become strong in their soul. They become strong in their heart. They become strong in their mind. Oh, they become strong enough to fight the devil, to overcome all the schemes of the enemy, to remain faithful to God till the end. Hallelujah. And such people, hallelujah, glory to God, the enemy wants to devour. Finish them off. The such people, the enemy does not want them to survive because she bore a male child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron and a child, what happened to the child? Caught a child God. was caught up to God and his throne. Hallelujah! Such people who are, who are, who are, who are that, such people, the church which gives birth to such people. Amen. They give here to the song doctrines of God, such people only. When Jesus Christ comes in the mid-air, they be caught up to God. Hallelujah. Caught up to God, here again it's mentioned. Where do we see we previously? 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. Apostle Paul speaks like that briefly. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 17. Then, then we who are alive, this verse uh, chapter 4, 1 Thessalonians 4, 16, 17. For the Lord Himself will descend from heaven. For the Lord Himself will descend from heaven. With a shout. With a shout. With the voice of an archangel. Yes, with the voice of an archangel. And with the trumpet of God. With the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. Yes, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then, then we who are alive, we who are alive and remain, and remain shall be caught up to together. What will happen? Shall be caught up together with them, with them in the clouds, in the clouds to meet the Lord, to meet the Lord in the air, in the air. This is where many people 
are struggling so hard, Christians. Uh, some say there is no rapture, some say only second coming means only second coming, then the rapture means the three comings of Jesus will be there, they, will, they will all be like that. Second coming of the Lord is, first time Jesus came as a man, second time he is coming to the world, earth, as the church king of kings and the lord of lords. Hallelujah. Here, in between, he, he does not come to the earth, but he comes in the air, in the clouds. Hallelujah. And that's why he is not coming to the earth, we are only going to meet him there in the video. Hallelujah. So the second coming to the earth is the open coming of the Lord. So in between is the rapture. The rapture, the meaning of being caught up is only called rapture. Hallelujah. In, I think we, uh, the rapture means being caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord where? In the air. Hallelujah. To meet the Lord in the air. That's why the serpent, the dragon, is also waiting to devour the snake chain. Where? Where was he? In the heaven. So that's where Jesus also coming. Now we'll see what is going to happen to the to the dragon. Hallelujah. All people put together is the church, and that's the major. Hallelujah. And then born out of the church, each and every church. So we read here. Um, please read chapter twelve. Revelations, we'll go back to Revelations chapter 12. Yeah. Verse 7, please read. And war broke out in heaven. War broke out in heaven. Michael. Michael. And his angels. And his angels. Fought with the dragon. Fought with? The dragon. The dragon. Dragon, where was he? In, in the, the heaven. heaven. Where was the war broke out? Yeah. The, the war heaven. broke out in heaven. Yes. The war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels, angels fought with the dragon. And the dragon and, the dragon and his angels also fought. And what did, have, what did they do? But they did not prevail. But Satan, dragon and his angels did not prevail. Nor was a place found for them. Nor was a place found for them in the heaven. In heaven any, any, long. any longer. Hallelujah. And so the great dragon, the great dragon was cast out. Was was cast out. The serpent of old. The serpent of old called the devil. Called the devil and Satan. And Satan who deceives the whole world. Who deceives the whole world? He was cast to the earth. He was cast to the earth. to the earth, and his angels were cast out okay. with him. Hallelujah. Initially, we know in uh, Revela uh, Isaiah chapter 14, we, we see about, read about Lucifer, the son of the morning star. When he wondered, when he was boasting about himself, I, I, last week we saw, I will ascend into heaven, I will, I will, I will be like most high. In the one verse we saw, five, I will. And when he said it in his heart, that very moment, he was cast down. He was an he was an ancient, archangel. Hallelujah. He was out from the heavenly kingdom of God to this Hallelujah, second heaven. And that's what they are the spirits of the air. The air, the devil, the dragon, the serpent, Satan, devil, and his angels. Now what happens? The Michael, the archangel. And his angels fought with dragon and his angels, and dragon and his angels could not prevail against the angels of God. And these uh, dragon, the serpent, the devil, and his angels, they were cast from the second heaven also and cast on down to the earth. Hallelujah. Now that place is clear. That we saw there was no place for, for them any longer. That area is clear. And that's where Jesus comes. That's where the male child also is part of. In the air. Hallelujah. So this is like this. And then what happens when he comes down to this earth? So we overcome the enemy by the blood of the Lamb and the word of testimony. Therefore rejoice, O heavens. Now rejoicing in heavens. And then you, you dwell in them. 
Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. Well, now what? Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. This is the seven years period of the Antichrist. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. And the sea. For the devil has come down to you having great wrath because he knows that he has a short time of seven years. So within that period he has to finish his job as much as possible. Hallelujah. He knows only short time is there, so he is very furious and he's cast down to the earth and he's going to and then what happens? Now when the dragon saw that he had been cast to the earth, he persecuted the woman who gave birth to the male child. He persecutes churches. The seven years thing, the church, left behind people, left behind church will be persecuted tormented by the devil. And then the woman was given two wings of great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness to her place. And they say that this is people of Israel also. And there are lots of, you know, God's understanding is so very vast and wide. So God has a secret, you know, contained in a nutshell. He has lots of things. Oh. A woman was sent into the wilderness and she was nourished. She is nourished for a time and times of and a half a time from the presence of the serpent. So the serpent spew water out of his mouth like a flood after the woman that he might cause her to be carried away by the flood. But the earth helped the woman. The earth opened its mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon had spewed out of his mouth. And the dragon was enraged with the woman. And he went to make war with the rest of her offspring who keep the commandments of God, have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So, these are the things that the devil, the dragon, the old serpent is doing on the earth and he's going to do. We have to understand that. And everything, hallelujah, glory to God. We have to know that, uh, you know, uh, we have the uh, we have to understand how the enemy is so much against the Bible and you know, the people who follow keep the testimonies of the Lord who keep the commandments of the Lord. He doesn't want. He cannot tolerate such people. Hallelujah. So this dragon fights with uh, God's people, and then we'll continue to see some more things. <clears throat> chapter thirteen, Revelation chapter thirteen, verse two. Please read. Now the beast, now the beast, which I saw was like a leper, which I saw was like a leper. His feet were like the feet of a bear. His feet were like the feet of a bear, and his mouth like the mouth of a lion, and his mouth like the mouth of a lion. The dragon gave him his power. The dragon gave him his power, his throne, his throne, and great authority, and great authority denotes the Antichrist. Jesus was speaking about and the seven years of Antichrist period. Who gives power to Antichrist? The dragon, the serpent, gives him power, his throne, his great authority to Antichrist. So this Antichrist, the people, you know, they come up uh, previously, all the Bible scholars, researchers, they say it's from the, you know, seven hills means it's Rome. It's only seated on, you know, seven hills and all that. Now they come out saying that it's Islamic nation, uh, you know, that uh, it will come from there because they are also waiting for Mahdi to come. Uh, Islam, according to Quran, they are waiting for a Messiah to come. These Jewish people are waiting for Messiah to come. You know, Islam people are waiting for Mahdi to come. And all the things that they speak about mainly, uh, they in detail if you read, hit her, they're not, uh, you know, uh, Antichrist. Whatever we read about Antichrist here, they say it about, say the same things about Messiah. And uh, so, and they say, uh, uh, Antichrist, and they say Mary will be assisted by a prophet. Who is the prophet? They say that Jesus Christ will come back again as the prophet. Just, uh, you know, upside down. <coughs> so, uh, it could be 
the Islam uh, Islam side also it can come, or both combination also will be there. You know that uh, it was Roman Catholic Church right from beginning it was it was going on persecuting. You know the Bible believing uh, people and killing those people and so many atrocities. People who came uh, who has come out of you know they say like. Uh, for the uh, recent past few years, recent, uh, in the past few years, uh, last popes and all, they gather all religion put together and say all religion are one. And then also, uh, in that recent day, I saw one lady, and I saw, I forgot the name, and she glorifies Lucifer. She was also included in the group. Another clipping I saw, they show in the close-up the, in the Vatican, uh, the choir, they're singing the song. Oh, that like that, you know, the choir, they're singing, and if you see, slowly, clearly, they see, they spell out Lucifer in the worship. They're glorifying Lucifer, the fallen angel. And uh, in the, uh, like NASA, they have a space uh, uh, lab in uh, US, somewhere in US, right? I think that is on Earth somewhere. And they have a big, uh, you know, huge telescope and the name of the telescope is Lucifer. <laughs> Hallelujah. Rome. It belongs to Vatican. Rome. And uh, there are, there are lot of, lots and lots of things if you see, you see the surface, but if you see in depth, you will know what is happening there. So, everybody, they were predicting that Antichrist will come out from uh, there only. And uh, many popes, they have said that, you know, I am God in that state, like I am equal to God. Many of them have confessed like that almost. And uh, they say, they even say that if need be, we may have to rewrite the Bible. So they were so fighting so hard that the Bible, we should not get it in the hands of people. That's what we are just uh, teaching the children how the preciousness of the Bible. How many people break down their lives to get this Bible into their hands in our... Uh, somewhere, I, I mean, I wanted to find out, I don't have time. They say even Islam, uh, is, was, it was created by uh, this... Uh, I heard somewhere, but I'm not very sure I want to get that uh, in detail also. Islam was created by Rome also, like some years back. Uh, they say, by Catholic Church, for some reason. So these are the politics there. Lots of things are there, uh, lots of manipulations and lots of things. So maybe uh, it can come in the Islam also and the false prophet can rise up, up from. We'll see about the false prophet. In uh, Revelation chapter 13 and verse 11, please read quickly. Then I saw another beast. Uh, I saw another beast coming up out of the earth. Coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb. He had two horns like a lamb. And spoke like a dragon. See, he was like what? Like a lamb. And spoke like what? Like dragon. a dragon. And he exercises all the authority. He exercises all the authority of the first beast. Of the first beast in his presence. In his presence. And causes the earth. And causes the earth. And those who dwell in it uh, to worship the first beast. Yeah, he exercises all the authority <coughs> and causes the whole world to worship the first beast, the Antichrist. And then signs. he performs great signs so that so that he even makes fire come he down. Even makes fire come down from heaven, heaven on the earth in the sight of man. Performs miracles, wonders. This false prophet. Recently I saw us like the, you know, uh, who did some miracle. I don't know whether you saw that. that. Did some miracle when he prayed over something blood came out of. And one to chapter 13 we read. Uh, so chapter 16, verses 13. Please, verse 13, please read quickly. And I saw three unclean spirits. And I saw three unclean spirits. Like frogs. Like frogs. Coming out of the mouth of the dragon. Coming out of the mouth of the dragon. Out of the mouth of the beast. Out of the mouth of the beast. And out of the mouth of the false prophet. Out of the mouth of the false prophet. 
For they are the spirits of demons. They are the spirits of demons. Performing signs. Performing signs. Which go out to the kings of which, the earth. Which go out. The demons performing signs go out to the kings of the earth and of the whole world and of the whole world to gather them to the battle. Yes, to gather them. You see, the demon spirit goes out to the whole world and to the kings of the earth and the whole world gather them to the battle of the great day of God, our Almighty. Hallelujah. These demons, Antichrist and the false prophet, all put together, they gather all the nations and they what? They fight against that on the great day of God, they gather them together to the place called in Hebrew, Armageddon. The, fort, the white fat battle is going to be between the good and the evil. Armageddon, even today in Israel, there is a place called Megiddo. Huge, open, vast, most open place. That is that place is called the Armageddon where the war is going to take place. Now chapter 19, we go to 19. Hallelujah, glory to God. Uh, 19 and 20. Quickly read. 20. Mm. Then the beast was captured mm. and with him the false prophet. Yeah, beast was captured and the false prophet was captured. Mm. Who worked signs in his presence. Who worked signs in his presence, in the presence of Antichrist. By mm. which he deceived those who received the mark of the beast. Yeah, by which he deceived those who received the mark of the beast. And those who worshipped his image. Mm. The two were cast alive. Uh, the two, yeah, who? Antichrist and the false prophet two were cast alive into the lake of fire into the lake of fire burning with brimstone burning with brimstone the Antichrist <coughs> and the uh, false prophet they were cast into the lake of fire and what happened to the serpent the dragon verse 2 of the next verse he laid hold of the dragon. He laid the angel laid hold of the dragon. The, that serpent of old. The serpent of old. Who is the devil and Satan? Yeah, yeah. And bound him for yeah, a we'll thousand read that years. Later. We'll read, uh, we are going to see God's judgment. How God uh, has been judging from the old days. Like you know, uh, the serpent was judged by God, and now how He is going to condemn him forever. We are going to see. We know in Genesis chapter three. Hallelujah, when the old serpent deceived Eve and Eve and Adam, hallelujah, glory to God, sinned against God, God cursed the serpent. Verse 14. So the Lord God said to the serpent, The Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, Because you have done this, You are cursed more than all cattle. Yeah, you are cursed more than all cattle. And more than every beast of the field. Yeah, more than every beast of the field. On your belly you shall go. Yeah, you shall go. And you shall eat dust. Mm, you shall eat dust. All the days of your life. All the days of your life. And I will put enmity. I will put enmity. Between you. You and the woman. Between you and the woman. And between your seed and her seed. Between your seed and her seed. He shall bruise your head. He shall bruise your head. What happened? In the cross of Calvary. Amen. Jesus crushed Satan uh, in the cross of Calvary. Mm -hmm. And you shall bruise his heel. Yeah, you shall bruise his heel. Jesus was crucified on the cross. Hallelujah. This is the first judgment. Hallelujah came upon this old serpent and then Isaiah 51 9. Please read quickly. Isaiah 51 9. Awake, 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 put on strength, put on strength, O arm of the Lord, O arm of the Lord, awake as in the ancient days, O awake as in the ancient days, in the generation of old, in the generation of old, are you not the arm that cut Rahab apart? Yes, are you not the arm that cut Rahab apart and wounded the serpent? Wounded the serpent, hallelujah. Of old, in the olden days, it talks about Egypt. How God, hallelujah, tormented the people of Egypt and brought out his people from the hold of Egypt. Hallelujah. 
I got the arm that cut cut, cut off razor apart apart and wounded the serpent. And wounded the serpent. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. And then uh, God wounded the serpent there. And then Isaiah 27 1. And before that we'll read uh, 74, Psalm 74, 13. Psalm 74, 13. God's judgment on the serpent and dragon. Psalms. You divided the sea by your strength. You divided the sea by your strength. You broke the head of the sea serpents in you, the waters. You broke the head of the sea serpent or you broke the head of the dragon if you read in the King James Version. Hallelujah. <coughs> you broke the head of the dragon in the waters. And then you broke the heads of the Leviathan. And then Psalm uh, 91 13. The power that God has given us over. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra. The young lion and the serpent. Young lion and the serpent. serpent. New King James Version. Uh, King James Version. The young lion and the dragon. dragon. Hallelujah. You shall tread upon. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra. And the cobras. You they, shall yeah. trample. Trample. The head lions and the dragons. You shall walk over them. You shall trample them. Oh, hallelujah. Romans 16, 20 speaks about it, saying that the card of peace shall crush Satan under your feet. Hallelujah. The card of peace shall crush Satan under your feet, under our feet. Amen. If you are a child of God, God will do that for you. And Luke, Luke's Gospel 10, 19, Jesus gives authority to his disciples say that you shall walk over the serpents and the scorpions and you shall overcome all the powers of the enemy. Nothing can harm you. Amen. So we have to believe that the enemy will try to show off as if he is powerful than us. Maybe, maybe powerful than us if we are ordinary people. We are weak before, but greater is he, we have to come, uh, confess that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Hallelujah! We should always remember Satan, I am an ordinary person, but I have an extraordinary person with me. Always remind yourself and keep confessing to them. Hallelujah! Enemy! Hallelujah! We forget about it, that's why many times, you know, we become weak before the uh, the enemy. Keep reminding yourself that greater is he that has in me. The Lord whom I worship, the Lord whom I believe, hallelujah, will crush you under my feet. Hallelujah. Isaiah 27 1. In that day, uh, in that day, the Lord with his severe sword, yeah. great and strong, uh, will punish Leviathan, uh, the fleeing serpent. Yeah. Leviathan, that twisted serpent, oh. and he will slay the reptile oh. that is in the sea. Amen. Hallelujah. In that day, the Lord with a silver sword, great and strong, will punish Leviathan, the fleeing serpent, Leviathan, the twisted serpent, and he will slay the reptile. dragon that is in the sea. Hallelujah. See, we saw previously also the dragon that is in the sea. The dragon that is in the sea. Jesus also, when he you know, taught us, his disciples, he says, when you see a tree, if you want it mountain, you can you know, command that mountain to be rooted out and be cast into the sea. deep sea. Hallelujah. You can ask the, command the tree to be rooted and be cast into the deep sea. I was thinking like this. Why he is asking us to cast into the deep sea? Because the dragon is in the deep sea. And then God is crushing the head of the serpent, head of the dragon, and in the, that is in the sea. If you read in the new heaven and new earth, I think in Revelation chapter uh, 22, 21 and verse 1, if you read, 
Now I saw a new heaven. Now I saw a new heaven and a new earth. And a new earth for the first heaven. For the first heaven and the first earth. For the first first heaven that was defiled, right, by the evil spirits. The first heaven defiled by the you know serpent, the dragon, where they were you know abiding there. The first heaven and the earth also spoiled by the dragon, the serpent, the devil. The first heaven and the first earth, first earth had passed away. Has passed away. Also, also there was no more sea. No more sea. No sea. Completely, the dragon and water will be thrown into the sea. All put together, gone. No more sea. That's why no sea. Hallelujah. Now we see we all are in the sea <laughs> by the seaside. Hallelujah, glory to God. No more sea. All put together will be into the sea. So we are seeing that. Hallelujah, glory to God. And uh, how God uh, revenges, avenges the dragon. Hallelujah, glory to God. That fought against God's people. So in Isaiah 34, it speaks about the, you know, uh, uh, seven uh, years reign. How God is going to, God's wrath is poured on the earth and it has become a habitation of dragons. 34, 13. Verse 4 if you read and 35 it speaks about how God revives, revives those areas in the thousand years reign. Isaiah 34 and uh, 13 is it? Yeah, 34, 13 it speaks about after the Antichrist period the whole world has become the habitation of the dragon and it has spoiled and 35 Oh, about a, a thousand years reign almost it's like that how God comes to make judgment verse 4 and then verse uh, 7 please read the parched ground and uh, the parched ground shall become a pool uh, uh, shall become a pool and the thirsty land springs and of the water. thirsty land springs of water in the inhabitation of habitation of jackals uh, the habitation of jackals as I told you 10 9 10 uh, it means dragon Habitation of uh, dragons where each lay, yeah, King James Version it mentioned dragons. Each lay, there shall be grass with reeds yeah, and rushes. again revived, and then the next verse, the highway be a, shall be there, yeah, highway shall be there. It shall be called the holy highway of holiness. Highway of holiness. Hallelujah. This is that you know, peaceful thousand years reign of Jesus Christ on this earth. And final judgment of the dragon, the old serpent, the devil, the Satan, Revelation 22. He was put into the, uh, you know, uh, pit when the Antichrist and the false prophet, they were cast into the lake of fire. He was put into the pit for a thousand years. After that, he was rele released from the pit. Cast him into the bottomless pit for a thousand years. After that, and uh, shut him up, shut him up, and set a seal on him. Yeah. So that, so that he should deceive the nation no more. Yeah. Thousand years reign. No, no, no sign of any Satan or dragon. Uh, he should not deceive the nation. And then, uh, now when the thousand years have expired, when the thousand years have expired, Satan will be released from his prison. Satan will be released from his prison and will go out to deceive the nation. Uh, even when he came out, immediately deception. He goes out to deceive the whole nation. Uh, Which are in the four corners of the earth. Yeah, then he fights and all that with the you know, with our Lord Jesus Christ. And what happens? Uh, was chapter 9, uh, verse 9, uh, the latter part. And fire came down from God. Fire came down from God. Out of heaven. Out of heaven. And devoured them. And devoured all the satanic forces. And then what happened? The devil. The devil. Who deceived them. The, who deceived them. Was cast into the lake of fire. Was final judgment. Was cast into the lake of fire. And brimstone. And brimstone. Where the beast. Where the beast. And the false prophet and are. And the false prophet are. Hallelujah. He was also cast into the uh, lake of fire. Where the beast and the prophet. False prophet <coughs> are. Antichrist and false, false prophet are. Then. After that time, uh, please read it. And they will be tormented. They will be tormented. Day and night. Day and night. Forever and, and ever. Forever and ever. And then 
white throne judgment after that only God sits as a judge the whole world dead and dead people all everything you can read but to understand how the fiery serpent the red serpent how it, it walks was against God's people and we have to we have God we have to understand the knowledge we should not be deceived he is a deceiver always he wants to deceive and take people's heart away from God's truth Hallelujah. In the name of God, anything you do, but don't walk in truth. That's what he says. But God says, Oh, hallelujah, God forms a powerful generation. For I'm building a people of power. Separate yourself. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You cannot serve two masters. You will hate the one and love the other. Whom are you going to hate and whom are you going to love? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Glory to Jesus Christ. Come with your whole heart, whole life to God this evening. Oh, to accomplish the great task that He has. Oh, hallelujah. He wants feeble people. He wants humble people. He wants, hallelujah, just people with total surrender. <coughs> he chooses the weak to confound the strong. He chooses the, you know, foolish to confound the wise. He chooses that which has nothing to confound that which has. So, hallelujah, he doesn't want any qualification, he just want total surrender, understanding God's plan and to stand by his side and to be in his side. Hallelujah, he wants soldiers of Christ. Will you be that soldier this evening? Commit yourself to God. Here I am, Lord. Here I am, Lord. Make me whatever you want me to be. Just say to you, yourself in your heart, to God. Make me, hallelujah, make me, Lord, in what you want me to be. Here I am, Lord. Say, here I am, Lord. Here I am, Lord. Hallelujah, your servant. That means I'm going to serve you. I'm not going to serve sin or the devil or the world. Hallelujah, precious thereof. 